Hey traders, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna learn how you can program your own multi time frame candle analysis chart in PineScript. As you can see here, this chart tells us the nature of candle at multiple time frames. For example, here is the current time frame. We can see that candle is bearish. Then we are seeing daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. So it's telling us the nature of candle at all these time frames. And you are gonna learn how you can program your own indicator. And also you can put any other type of data you want to inside this table as well. So now without any further ado, let's get started. So first of all, we have defined the indicator is going to be called multi time frame candle analysis. And we have set the overlay to be true because we want the table to be plotted onto the chart. And now it's time to take the inputs and the inputs. We're going to take the time frames as inputs because this will help us adjust the time frames later once the indicator is applied as well so let's go ahead and add the time frame input so when i say input current time frame and here we want to take the input of time frame input dot time frame and here we in order to give it the default value of current time frame we're just going to use the we're just going to use the inverted commas and after that we're going to title it the current time frame so here we're gonna say current time frame so that's what it's gonna be called and now in a similar manner we're gonna take the inputs of the daily weekly monthly and yearly time frames as well as you can see if I just duplicate it multiple times you can see the daily time frame we are taking it as day then weekly time frame monthly and yearly now if I just go ahead and plot close and show you what this input does is it allows us to take input of the time frame so let me just go ahead here and here you can see we can select any time frame so that's why we are taking time frames as input if we had just assigned the input the time frames as a variable then we would not have been able to change it later in the settings of this indicator so that's why we are taking the times as input now the next thing we need to do is we need to identify if the candle is bullish or bearish and that we can do that by using a custom function that will be called is bullish and here we are going to define the function and our definition is going to be this one so let me just go ahead and explain what we have done here so we are requesting the security and let me just go ahead and here we want to pass in the time frame because we are taking these time frames as inputs and we want to give this function the input of time frame which we will be using in our definition of the function so this function requests the ticker id for example here the ticker id would be euro jpy as you can see here and then it takes the time frame as input whichever time frame we give it here it will do the analysis on that time frame and then we want to check whether the close is greater than the open and similar thing is happening here so once we check if we know that if the candle is bullish then its close is going to be greater than its open for example in this case here let me just zoom in so in this case here in this bullish candle we can see the close is greater than open so this function would return a true value However, if this case did not exist, if the close of a candle was less than open, then it would mean the candle is bearish and this function would return a false value. So you can see we are doing our definite, we are defining this is bullish function to check whether the candle at the time frames that we have taken as input is bullish or bearish. Now let's go ahead and check whether the uh, whether the candles at multiple time frames are bullish or bearish so we're going to say current is current bullish so we're going to check if the current candle is bullish and then here we're going to use our function that we have defined and now we're going to give it the time frame and that time frame is going to be input current so as you can see using this we have given it the time frame of the chart the current time frame now we can do the similar with other time frames that are daily weekly and monthly so i'm just gonna go ahead and 
paste this here because this will just be repetition so we are checking on the daily time frame if the candle is bullish then this would return true if not then it, it will return false now all that is done we know we have done the analysis of the candles now we need to plot this data onto the table that we were seeing here that we need to draw okay so if you have not seen my video on using the tables please go ahead and check it now because that video goes in detail of how you can assign the cell numbers how you can uh, know how many cells you need and what are the indexes in tables so here i'm just going to go ahead and define my table that is going to be variable table dot new here is going to be table and my table we're going to give it a id of my table and then i'm going to go ahead and create a new table table dot new and here we need to define certain things first we need to define the position of this table for example we can say position is going to position dot top right and then second thing we need to assign is the number of columns and rows so for our sake we are going to need two columns and say uh, five rows so we're going to go ahead and say three columns because we are just going to create more uh, like one more than what we need so that we have space and we don't run into any error so here we're going to say six rows and three columns and then we're going to set the bg color to color dot blue and next we're going to say the border color to be color dot black and similarly we're going to go ahead and define the border width which is going to be border width is going to be two so now we have defined our table and all we need to do now is assign our uh, values to the table so let's go ahead and plot they start plotting data into the table that we have collect the analysis we have done here so now let's go ahead and first define the headings of our table so we're going to say table dot cell and this table dot cell function is used to insert data into the table so we're going to need the table id and the table id of the table we created is my table so we're going to go ahead and say my table and then we can put the data we want so we want to put add zero zero index because our table if i just go ahead and draw our table our table is going to look like this and there are going to be as you can see two columns and one two three four five five rows so these are going to be our headings and the index of this heading is going to be zero let me just pull this zero dot zero, uh, zero comma zero so at zero zero index we are going to go ahead and put zero comma zero we're going to go ahead and put our heading of time frame because we in this uh, column here we want to put the time frames all the time frames, the daily monthly weekly and current one so here we're going to go ahead and give it a string of time frame and then next we're going to go ahead and give it a background color and a text color so the background color is going to be color dot white and the text color is going to be color dot white okay so here we're going to use the background color of blue instead of white so now we can go ahead and insert the second head, uh, heading into our table that is going to be here so the index of this one is going to be one zero because in defining the indexes the column comes first and then the row comes so this is zero column zero row. this is first column and zero row. so that's why its index is going to be zero one so at one zero index we are going to give it a heading or status of the candle because here we want to plot whether the candle is bullish or bearish so that's why i'm just remove this and now let's go ahead and paste this so this is just plotting the status into the table so now let me just save it and show you how our table currently looks and update okay I think we are getting an error so here we are uh, they're saying like we need to define the parameter names of the r so here we're gonna say columns and 
here we need to say number of rows. So I think that should fix it. So let's go ahead and check. So you can see our time frame and status are being plotted onto the chart. And in our just to make sure the colors are same, we're gonna change the color from this one, this dark blue to color dark blue so that they look same. So now let's save it. And you can see that this is time frame and this is terrace. So below time frame, we're gonna insert all our time frames. The time frames are current one, daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. So now let's go ahead and do that. And also here, since our table, uh, like in the status of this table, the candle can either be bullish or bearish. For example, here currently that candle is bullish, but if we go to some other time frame, for example, or some other currency pair, here we can see the candle is bullish. So for bullish candles, we want to use the green background color, and for bearish candles, we want to use the red background color. So for that, we need to define a function that checks whether the candle is bullish or bearish, and then assigns a color to it. For example, here we can see the cell color takes the input of bullish, the argument bullish, and if the candle is bullish, it assigns the cell a green color, and if not, it assigns it a red color. Now, all that remains is inserting the data into or populating our table with the data. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste this here. So let me just go ahead and show you what this represents. So here we can see the table cell uh, is used to populate the data inside the table. So this is zero one index and zero one index would be here because zero column and first row. And let me just comment out everything and show you what it's doing. So let me just go ahead and save it. So you can see the current is also plotted and against the current, we want to plot the status of the current candle. For example, current candle is bullish. So that's why we want to plot bullish and we want to change the color of this cell to green. So we can do that by using this table.cell. So 1.1 1 .1 is going to be first column, first row. And then here we are checking if the current candle is bullish or not. And if it is, for example, here we can see that we have defined the function of current bullish. So here, if this variable, this current bullish is true, then we want to assign it as a string of bullish. If not, it would be bearish, so we would assign it a bearish. And similarly for background color, we have defined our function cell color, and then we are giving it a value of current bullish because if the candle is bullish, then it's uh, color is going to be green. If not, it's going to be red. So let me just go ahead and save it. So here you can see the color has also changed because this candle is bullish. If we go to some other currency pair where the candle might be bearish, um, let me just go ahead and change it. So here you can see the candle is bearish. The latest candle is bearish and the text and the color of this cell has also changed. So that's all what we need to do. We can just uncomment this and this is going to plot all the time frames, the current, weekly, monthly, and yearly. So here you can see currently weekly, daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. And we can check just by looking at one time frame, we can check the candles on all these time frames. And the best thing is we can also go ahead and change the time frames we are using. For example, let me just show you this is working correctly because here we can see a daily time frame. The indicator is telling us that the candle is bullish. So we can go ahead and check at the daily time frame. So here at daily time frame, we can see the candle is in fact bullish. And at weekly, it's bullish as well. So let's go towards the weekly. And you can see the latest candle at weekly time frame is also bullish. And if we go ahead and check monthly bullish, and if we check the yearly, we can see again it's bullish candle. So here what sentiment we are getting is at lower time frame like um, 15 minute or 19 minute we can see that overall bias of the market is in bullish direction so at 19 minute time frame, at lower time frames we want to check the overall trend or what we can do is here we can also change the time frames and we can also program the indicator by because this video is getting very long so i am going to skip that part but we can change 
because for example here if we insert 10 minutes then we can change the label of this using if conditions and if you i would encourage you to try that if not then if you are not able to do this please let me know in the comments i will explain it but here we are uh, we have assigned it a 10 minute time frame the uh, daily time frame so here it's now at daily instead of daily we can change this dynamically using if condition so here at 10 minute it's saying the candle is very so let's go ahead and check at the 10 minute time frame and yes in fact we can see the candle at 10 minute time frame is bearish so we want this label to change with the time frame as well just to make sure so you can do that i would leave it as assignment for your practice and if you're not able to do this let me know in the comments i hope you like this video if you have any questions please comment down below i would love to answer them also don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video